on guys man elite here back playing some final fantasy 16 and we've got a banger for you today it's going to be the echoes of the fallen dlc but what are we waiting for let's dive right in now apparently there are some redeemable items an onion sword oh the buster sword and an orchestrian roll with a new song for the hideaway so just dive straight in. Um, check out the swords. Now, <laughs> I think the Buster Swords are a little bit underrated there. I'm assuming they're just for appearing. We'll go see if we can upgrade them. So what do I owe the honor? What do you want? Uh, reinforce. That it. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing yeah. they're just for appearance. the sword there we go and there's the onion sword well I think we're gonna equip the buster sword you know <laughs> still alive are you if you're gonna buy some be quick about it you're rubbing me blind you know come again Oh, don't. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Is something the matter, Karen? You seem... perturbed. Do I know? How clever of you to notice. But yes, something's come to my attention, and I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. Go on. It's probably quicker if I just show you. Here. Oh? Some sort of crystal. Though, I don't remember seeing one that color before. Aye, well, that makes two of us. In all my long years of trading, both over and under the counter, I've never seen anything quite like it. They call in them dusk crystals. On account of color. I see. And they can be used to cast magics. That they can. Just like their brighter, shinier cousins. Difference is, they don't last as long. After a couple of goes light in your pie, they crumble away to nothing. That's how I heard about them. Front crystal trade is moaning that someone's been flooding the market with dodgy goods. And after asking the right people the right questions, and paying the right price, of course, I managed to get my hands on a sample. Hmm. I see why you're perturbed. Feel that, Clive? Yes. I'd be a bit worried if you didn't feel it, since it was shaking the whole bloody hide out. Imperial fringe. All right, lads, that'll do for today. I said that'll do for today. Yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. Let's get this lot back to town, fill our purses, and then our bellies. 
Uh oh. What did you two do now? Please tell what you bought another London. Stay calm, both of you. Who needs a lantern when you've got one of these? Oh, all that work for a single spark. Well, There'll be no more sampling the merchandise today. Uh-oh, what are you awakened? That sounded close, Chief. Really close. Really, really close. Now, lads, what am I always telling you? Good things come to those who run. Wait for us, Chief! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Is that like a mega weapon, is it? I hope it's a mega weapon. I've never felt a tremor this far inland before. Me neither. But then, I'd never seen skies like these till a few moons ago, and it's been all change ever since. Come to think of it, the first anyone ever heard of these dust crystals was after you lot came back from the Dominion and brought this bloody weather with you. Do you think the two things are connected? Who knows? Could just be that with Drake's tail gone, the black market was running short of the good stuff. The Dominion's mines were the only source of new shards left in storm after a certain evil outlaw decided to do away with the other mothers. And with the price of decent crystals going through the roof, traders turned to dealing in stuff they'd never have touched before. The question is, who's selling these crystals and where are they? Wait. This color. They couldn't be from origin, could they? No, that wouldn't make sense. I saw it form in the sky, and that was long after we returned from the Dominion. But if they didn't come from origin or any of the other mother crystals, then. Does that mean. That you missed one? Ah, oh, yeah. That were my thinking, any road. Another mother crystal we didn't know about. I'll speak with Joshua. If you're right about this, we need to find it. And quick, I'd say. On account of which, I'll take this shard over to Tomes for you. Get him to give it a once over, case it rings any bells. Right. Thank you. And I expect you'll be wanting Jill's help with this, too. Right again. I will. Let me go and find Joshua, and we'll meet you in the shelves. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it looks so weird with the Buster Blade. Quest destinations, Echo's Fallen. Joshua, we need to talk. Karen's caught wind of something that I don't think we can afford to ignore. Aye, that is troubling. Not least because the Undying made no mention of these dust crystals in any of their recent reports. So they weren't aware of them either? Perhaps. Or perhaps they merely deemed them unworthy of my attention. Wrongly, I might add. 
for I am inclined to share Lady Karen's misgivings. Then we'd better take her advice and consult Hippocrates forthwith. To the shelves, then. With our combined insight, I'm sure we'll discern something of use, be it no more than a place to start. Let's hope so. A plot thickens. There you are. I've taken the liberty of telling these two everything I told you. Thank you, Karen. It's hard to believe such a lusterless shard could conjure much of anything. And you truly think this came from a mother crystal? One we never knew existed? Every other shard in the twins did. Why should these dusk crystals be any different? Dim, though they may be. We know they first appeared on the black market shortly after Ultima Cast primogenesis, darkening the skies. So might the two be connected? Could the spell have created a new mother crystal, perhaps? A replacement for the ones we destroyed? What do you think, Hippocrates? I think there may well be a connection. Yet, if we are to believe that the original mother crystals were of Ultima's making, does it seem likely that he would have need of anything so palpably inferior? No. I hazard that it was not Ultima who created these crystals, but humanity. More specifically, oh. our fallen forebears, whose wonders litter the land even now. Legend holds that the fallen challenged the gods in order to win their power and came tantalizingly close to doing so. It seems only reasonable that they should wish to learn the secrets of the crystals which the gods bestowed upon them. So they could make their own. Precisely. You may recall that the tale of the sins of Zemeckis begins with the colloquy of the sages, a council wherein humanity sought to uncover the last secrets of the gods before waging their war to learn what little remained. It is perfectly possible that an understanding of how to craft crystals was among their many achievements. Among their many achievements prior to their fall. <laughs> Indeed. The same enlightened souls forged great and terrible weapons called the iconoclasts from which icons derive their name and turned them against each other in the magitech war a pointless conflict which served only to make its victors more confident of their right to supplant the gods on high and when at last they ventured to do so the resultant imbalance in the ether is said to have been so great that the skies themselves turned black and began to boil the first recorded RK sky, I suspect. Which brings us back to the matter at hand. It is my belief that these shards are the product of a long slumbering Magitech mother crystal, stirred to life by a similar etheric upheaval to the one which accompanied its creator's fall. There's only one way to know for sure. We track down whoever's selling them and find their source. Karen. Where did you buy this one? Down in Port is older when I was scratching around for supplies. Since the Imperials buggered off and took the tariffs with him, you can find all sorts of interesting stuff on the docks. Go and have a chat with the mercenaries guarding the gays. Your uncle's got some good lads there. You know when to keep a watchful eye and when to turn a blind one. Oh, and take the crystal with you. Might be your key to the underworld. <laughs> Thank you. I will. I hope not. Shall we then, brother? Let I'm us. coming too. If there is another mother crystal out there and it's anything like the others, you'll need all the help you can get. I was hoping you'd say that. One more time then. Together. Let's 
going on here, I wonder? What indeed? Let's ask. Reach the pivotal moment in the echoes of the fallen. If you continue, you will not be able to return. Excuse me. Who were those men just now? Bloody troublemakers, that's who. As soon as I asked them to present their packs for inspection, they turned white as a sheet and lead did. I chased them all the way from the gates, but they're swift as hares. Still, at least we kept the bastards out. Don't need their kind stirring up any more strife. And what manner of strife have they been stirring up, exactly? Hey, Are you joking? This business with the crystals? Sorry, we've been away for a while. What's been going on? All right, I'll humor you. After the paltry rations the Imperials left behind dried up, folks started trading crystals out in the open. We turned a blind eye at first. Lord Byron's orders. Way he saw it, it went right to deny people the one thing they were all clamoring for. Till the dust started turning up, that is. Dusk crystals, they're called. Ill-favored shards that crack as soon as you look at them. Not that the folk who bought them by the bucket load knew that. And they were baying for blood when they found out. In the end, his lordship had to step in and ban the blasted things. And we've been searching the pack of every trader who's darkened our gates ever since. I see. And you think the men you were pursuing might have been trading in these dusk crystals? Why, you're in the market for some. Anyway, I wouldn't rule it out. In fact, I put a few gill on it. We might still be able to catch them. We might. If you are heading up that way, you want to keep your sword handy. There's more than dodgy traders plying the roads these days. Understood. We'll be careful. If those men were selling dusk crystals, I think it's unlikely that they will risk returning to Port Isolde. Which means this might be our only chance of catching them. some distance ahead, I'd wager. They were making a good pace. Yeah, but we're unshockable. Still no sign of those traders, though. No. I just hope we haven't lost them. These blimmin' tremors are scaring off all our customers. <laughs> the few that weren't scared off by the skies, you mean? Uh, perhaps one of those merchants has seen something. Forgive me. But did you happen to see three men in robes pass this way? Yeah, I seen them. <laughs> Poor bastards. What do you mean? A gang of nasty-looking brutes was on their trail. Caught up with them just up the road. Screaming at them they were. Your crystals are your lives and all that. Only the daft buggers kept their crystals and legged it. In which direction, out of interest? Up that way. Towards the old hill docks. If it's help they seek there, they won't find any. But perhaps they might find a place to hide. Let's hope so. And that we can find them before their pursuers do. Thank you. 
And please, take care on the road. Come on. They're no good to us dead. Lead the way, brother. So the bandits haven't found them either. There's still time. And over those crystals! Gah! Gah! It's a war with brigands, brother. You're right. Let's focus on finding the traitors. Should be far enough. This is where a creature will come out of the blow. Uh, Chief, the founders. Uh, it's getting so a man can't even catch his fucking breath. Gentlemen, a word. We understand you've been selling some crystals. And like I told you, thieving mates, you're not fucking getting them. So you could take your massive sword and shove it. <laughs> I'm sure I could, but we're not thieves. Over here, I can smell the one who shat himself. <laughs> um, if you've got a plan, Chief, tell us you've got a plan. Of course, I've got a bloody plan. Good things and all that. <laughs> Let's start again, shall we? You say you're interested in the crystal trade? Not exactly. In actual fact, we were hoping to talk about this. Is that all? Well, then I know just how to help. If you're after the short shifter, he's over here! No, 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 no. Slippery little pricks. Clinkers on the ground, quick as you like. Gentlemen, you've got it all wrong. Do we look like merchants? He's the one you want. Just look at what he's got in his hand. What? Him? Wait, I'm not. <laughs> Do let us uh. know if you need any more help. <laughs> they won't get far, Clive. No. They'll wish they had. Turn it away for it and go grab them. I'll sort them out. I'll carve you like a suckling pig and feed you to your fucking job. Yeah, you ain't carving nothing there. Kind of you to think of him.
Did you see which way they went? North. Making for three reeds at a guess. After them. If they reach the swamp, we'll never pick up their trail. Come on, Brazier. Run like the wind. There was something odd about those three. They seemed less like merchants and more like charlatans. One might argue that a merchant is naught but a mummer without his motley. Then why am I not amused? This would be easy. What did he find, boy? Clive? Judging by the state of the ground, a lot more passed this way than our three charlatans. Another group of bandits? Hmm. I doubt they'd leave this crystal behind. Regardless, we're on the right track. Let's pick up the pace. They wouldn't risk stopping rest would they not if they hope to pass unnoticed then we'd better stick to the swamps there they are Eyes. Persistent bastards, I'll give them that. Friends, I knew those louts were no match for you. But of course you did. Because you know what we're capable of, don't you? Now, you deal in crystal. Dusk crystal. And we want to know where you got it. So you're going to tell us. Let's assume for a moment that we are the merchants you're looking for. Why would we tell you where we procure our stock? What kind of shepherd leads a wolf straight to you? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Are they getting worse? What the? Clive, the tower. Well, that's new. That's impossible. Yeah, Chief, do you think someone else got into the tower? Quiet, you daft sort. And what would they find there if they did? I... I wouldn't know. I've never been there. Echoes, maybe? Or fallen rubbish? I really couldn't say. The entrance is sealed tight. No way in. And how would you know that? If you've never been there? I... Uh... Look! Behind you! An Akashic monster! If you think I'm going to fall for another one of your cheap tricks... Clive, trouble. What? Oh. You two just wait right there. Third one. You get working on opening that engines. Wait, don't you dare! I don't think Martha would appreciate that thing on her doorstep. Probably not. We'll send Torkel after them. And the three of us can deal with it.
Oh, bright bomb is. Well, that was ill-timed. But at least we know what was chasing the merchants. <sighs> That's twice we've saved them now. see anyone I've had enough of bandits and beasts chief can't we just go home and let those thieving pricks march in and take what's ours what's ours oh no 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 <laughs> you don't mean the dusk crystals I Halleck Malik we're going back to that tower if it's the last thing we do but the lights chief what about the lights? Uh, first you whine about it being too dark, then you whine about it being too light. Think about how easy it'll be to mine now. I mean, if you helped them, it would be even easier. Especially since it's light now and you don't need to hold the lantern. And you're sure they're bound for the tower. <sighs> when they aren't running away from trouble, they're running towards it. Do you know anything of the place, Joshua? Alas, not. I have seen it labelled Sage Spire on some maps, but beyond that, the ruins are no different from any other fallen derelict. Another impenetrable relic of the past. Not so impenetrable, apparently. Our friends plainly found a way in. They could be living there. Like we do in the Invincible. Well, the tower is unquestionably large enough to hide three merchants. But is it large enough to hide what we seek? A mother crystal. It would go some way to explain why the area was among the first in Rosaria to fall to the Blight. Then it's settled. We head to Eastpool and make our approach from the Dim. Sounds like a plan, Batman. I mean, to be fair, can I not just teleport to the dim and walk backwards? That would make more sense. Good girl. Fly, Ambrosia. Deadlands. Look what they're carrying. I don't recall. 
recall ever hearing of goblins using fallen relics as weapons. Well, they certainly are welcoming gifts. Clive, remember where we are. No magic. Right. They're even uglier up close. Oh, wow. my magic? That sucks. Let's hope that was the last of them. Indeed. I'd almost forgotten what it was like to have to rely on steel alone. Clive? Chill. You may want to see this. There's a way into the tower. What? Oh, I remember this door. It was open when I found it. Someone was in a hurry. Three guesses as to who. Then this must be their way into the tower. There's only one way to find out. Seems somebody's woken this place up. The question is... Who? Well, I can tell you who it wasn't. Unauthorized biometrics detected. Someone's here. Initializing security scan. Safety protocols disengaged. I don't think that was someone, Clive. I think it was the tower. Either way... It doesn't sound like we're welcome. Keep your guard up. Alright, let's go. The gallery. Gah!
Did pretty well there, uh, like. Dusk crystals everywhere. Well, that's one mystery solved. But there's no mother crystal. Yet. We still have plenty of tower to explore. guys we're gonna end the episode there appreciate you all stopping by be sure to like the video subscribe if you're not already and join me for the next part of my final fantasy 16 dlc playthrough bye